you to grow. How many know? How many are interested in growing? Really, I mean, just sincerely amen. grow in your amen, life. Amen. amen. So God is interested also in developing you. All right. Now, we talked about 21 things you need to know concerning committed to developing me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to give you the 10th point. Those that have not received the other nine, please get the CD. I'm not going to be able to cover all this and, and get through it. Amen. All right. So the other nine points, those that did not get it, please get the CD. Now, the 10th point in uh, committed to developing me. All right, 21 things and uh, 21 things you need to know about committed to developing me. The 10th point is this: commitment is about engaging yourself to carry out a task without quitting. Mm. All right, commitment is about wow. engaging yourself to carry out a task without, without quitting. quitting. Some of you have quitting on the brain, and uh, and God is not interested. The Bible is clear that He takes no interest in those that draw back. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, God is very, uh, uh, God is a progressive God. Yes. yes and there's is. times when I'm, feel, I, I'm sure all of us feel like quitting. Uh, but point 10 is commitment mm -hmm. is about engaging yourself to carry out a task without quitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to visit yeah. your quitting moments. Yes. Some of the young people, go talk to the, the older people that dropped out, should have finished their DGD, mm -hmm. they should have got a 12th grade education, Amen. didn't get it. That quitting moment will have to be in, uh, will, will have to be uh, revisited yes. at some point yes. in your life. Yes, yes, yes. So you don't want to you don't want a trail of quitting moments. Amen. 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 And when you quit, you really there there, there are some character defects because some of you bring up quitting too much. Some of you like for an example, like husband and wife. That's why you need to be here on the fifteenth. You 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 throw out divorce. You throw out the D word too much to each other. Right. So which means somewhere in the back of your mind, you got quitting on the brain. Uh, my wife and I have some very uh, heated conversations, believe it or not, at intense times. We have fellowship. intense, not to the point we want to hurt each other, no. but we have intense oh, no. conversations. Yeah, intense fellowship. But never do we throw up the D word. Amen. That's not even an option. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, what I just say, it's not even an we option. Never, yeah. yeah that's not even, that's not, that, that's a cuss word in my house, not to be brought up. Amen. But some of you that want out real quick, you'll bring that up. And you Amen. use it as a you use it as a defense mechanism to kind of scare your partner or to force your partner to do something you want to do. Uh oh. <laughs> and you never want your partner to pull the card or to cash in the wolf ticket. Wow. Because people don't like to be threatened. Right. Nobody wants to be threatened. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. It's natural if you swing at me, I'm gonna swing back. That's right. <laughs> if you swing, the natural reflex, I'm gonna swing back. It's this natural reflex. That's in life. No, I'm just saying. That not is, in the that house. Just, we don't hit it in but, the but house. But it's natural when you throw out garbage yeah. to my quitting to somebody. Well, we just going to break up. I'm just going to go my own way and we right, can get divorced. Right, it, It's natural for the other person to come back saying, well, you do what you got to do, boo. Amen. It, it's, it's natural to come back with those responses. Yeah. Because you got to be, let's be real. There's yeah. more than one person in this earth. Now, you make up a nice portion of it, <laughs> but there's more people than you, boo. So, <laughs> so, so, so we need to just leave that word alone. If, right, you know, that's good. So don't throw that's it out good. there and think book ain't going to just, you know, may not follow that's through good. with it. That's good. Okay. So, so that yeah, is that's, why that's we that are point. here today to encourage you to and not quit. Some of, you, some of you teenagers, let me see my teenagers' hands, my young folks. Okay, now you're too close to graduating Come on, to Bishop. think about quitting. Yes. Now you're in the 12th, in the sense that you're quitting right now. You are, you're oh you're at God. the door. You're at the door of opportunities for the rest of your life. Some of you in the 10th grade, 11th grade. Quitting cannot be on the brain. That's right. So when you make a commitment that I'm going to finish, uh, mm -hmm. something you need to follow through with. Now, some of you got quitting, church quitting on the mind, uh, marriage quitting. You got a lot of stuff you think yes. on the mind, what you're going to mm -hmm. do. But uh, God is not really, um, he, he's not, he's, the Bible's clear, honey. That right. He, 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 the Bible says that uh, God My takes soul, no pleasure, no pleasure, takes no pleasure in those, those that withdraw back, back uh, yeah. from his will. So some exactly. people, when you're doing the will of God, how many know you're going to have challenges? Mm -hmm. Amen. And challenges yeah. should not make you want to quit. Challenges should make you find out a solution to get through what you're walking through. That's right. All right. I, yes. I, I'm, not, I'm not a quitter by nature. I'm just not. I don't. I don't. I like finishing stuff, man. I, yes. I, I like Amen. finishing. Amen. You know what I mean? Amen. Amen. So, 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 let me give you the eleventh point to this. The, the tenth point won't be the, too much, but the eleventh point is quitting. As I, I shared already, quitting is not an option for committed people. Right. Quitting is not an option for committed people. Right. Um, if you're not committed, then we understand why you want to quit all the time. Mm -hmm. See, uncommitted people quit all the time. Yeah. Right. You, you, weren't quit, you weren't committed from the beginning. And if you were committed, you wouldn't be talking about quitting. Right. So 
Quitting is not an option for committed, committed people. people. Real committed mm -hmm. people don't quit. Yes. They press through. Come on, they, they press through. Yes. Come on. Amen. It, it, it's Amen. like, you know, uh, I, I'm trusting while trembling. I'm going to keep moving. That's now, do it. I feel like it? No. Right. There do you I feel go. like this? No. Do I feel like going through this? No. I'm going to just keep moving because I made a promise to my family. I made yes. a promise to my bishop that I was going to stick with him today. Amen. I ain't leave my Amen. bishop. I told him I ain't going nowhere, Bishop. Right, right. Okay, we'll see. That those words will be tested. Yes, and, and, and Bishop, honey, I ain't going nowhere, boo. Those words will be tested. And, and, yeah. can, and, and can I bring in? Yeah, I know ahead. you're talking to the singles. You're talking to the, the the teenagers. I want to also talk to the singles though, because I don't want them to quit waiting on God for their good thing. Yeah, that's good. I don't want you to quit waiting on God, because sometimes we'll get like, Lord, I'm just tired. Lord, I'm just gonna go get what I gotta get. Lord, it's been nice, but Lord, you're taking too long. So I'm going to quit trusting you. I'm going to quit waiting on you. I'm going to quit looking unto Jesus. I'm going to just act like I'm losing my everlasting mind and do what I want to do. And then when it, when it goes sour, when it goes bad, when it doesn't work out, then I'll run to the church and then I'll talk to my pastor, Nam. So I need my single, don't quit on God right now. I know it seems like you've been waiting a mighty long time. Hmm? Somebody said, what you say? Yeah. Let, me just throw, let me just throw a little yeah. thing connected to no, that thought. Connect. Mm -hmm. If you don't include us from the beginning, you know, I don't think it's fair to bring me at the end of the thing. Yeah. Now, you know I'm here for you now. But I, I would I would really pray that you'll bring me in on the front end mm -hmm. so I can be with you on the back end. Mm -hmm. I'm going right. to be with you now, but that's just fair to us. Yes. Because some of you get involved with stuff, but when it goes sour, then we only hear about it. Right. Well, you, on the front end. So well, you know, just for a up. marriage yeah. counseling point that we often share in our sessions, or we usually share even in this forum, is and that is to say, by the time you come to me and you tell me you're in love, I'm in trouble as a, as a counselor to you in your life. Really, at that point, if you're in love and you already got a date, <laughs> then my job is done. I, there's nothing for me left to do. Because if I, what I have to do in that counseling session is take you back to where you unlove, un, you're not in love. So you can be clear to see what you might need to see. But when you come to me in the fog of love, then there's nothing much I can do to well, unravel. Well, well, basically, when you say, Bishop, I'm getting married, this is the date. You, you're telling me, oh, you don't matter what, what I say. Okay, yeah. why are we over there? But anyway, will, you, will sure. you bring a date? Will you say, Bishop, I'm getting married. This is the date. I would like for you to marry me. Basically, you're saying, I don't want to hear your counsel sessions. I don't want to sit eight weeks with you. I done made up my mind. And so, but again, let me share this thought with you. See me now or see me later. I'm just I'm just walk on that one real quick. See me now or see yeah. me later. Yeah. Now now and, and, and that and later, doesn't mean later might be worse. Yeah. And that doesn't mean if you come with a date, some of your dates are like way down the road and you know that time but, but factor this, is this in always, there. Always but leave it open ended keep like it, Bishop. Keep it look, open -ended. I'm yeah. looking to marry this person. I need you to be praying with me. If God show you something, sir, I want to know. But you already said, this is the date. I'm in love. Why don't you tell me <laughs> you in love? That's married. it. So I'm in that's love. that. But anyway. Yeah. So, but but back that's to my single. Don't quit don't do waiting, waiting on the Lord. No, don't, don't do that. And, and then if you see flags, don't quit waiting on the Lord. If you see a flag, then you know, okay. I, now some things I'll have to let go. I'm not quitting. I'm not. I'm, in other words, my quit is not going to be on God. Because if God shows me a flag, that means I might need to let some things go. But if I still hang on to what God tells me to let go, then I've quit on God. All right? So that's just a little, little food for thought. And, 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 you know, the old saying that good things really come to those who wait. It's true. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. It's, it's really a true, uh, it's true in principle. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The true yes, in principle. Yes. The right person comes along. The counterfeit oh, yes. always shows up first. Oh, yes. Oh, the right person some, always show up. Say sometimes first and yes, second. Uh, that's <laughs> The so, right person shows up. You just can't be too in a rush. That's it. Okay, you got, I mean, you know what I'm saying. You can't be looking yeah. at your biological clock and all that. Yeah. God can yes, renew your yes. strength. To my, when you meet the right person, it makes the years that you waited seem like nothing. Right. Really exactly. Does. Exactly. I mean, exactly. I've been my wife for 26 years, yes. going on 27 years. Yes, yes, yes. It seemed yes. like the wait was just, I oh, mean, yes. I can't believe we've been together that long, but it's just like, man, wow, you know? Yeah. So, Getting the right person is, is key. I don't know why we talk about yeah, that. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me, this let me, this, the, the quitting yeah. thing. I'm, my focus yeah. is still quitting. Listen, I'm 40, almost 50 years old. I can say this unashamedly now. It feels good now because I'm at a different place in life. But I quit listening to my mother. 
when I quit listening to the people who loved me, who I knew didn't have my work, they didn't have my, they didn't, they, they had my best interest at heart. When, listen, are y'all listening from the, from the, from the camera to the, to the, to the stage. When I stopped listening to the wisdom of my mother, then I came up with, I got a testimony. It ain't no testimony. You were stupid and you made some bad decisions when you should have been quiet and you should have been listening. And I understand now. I understand being young. I know what we're feeling. We're feeling some kind of way. You know, y'all ever seen that sign that says, dear parents, please pack your things. Get out of my life. Be quiet. Hush. Let me tell you what to do while, you know, while, you know, because I'm, I'm grown. In other words, this is this little thing. I have it at the house or somewhere here on the premises. But I, I need to read that because sometimes we think our parents know nothing. And then we quit on them. We quit listening. We quit adhering to the guidelines and the guidance and the necessary barriers. I had a great conversation. I don't think he'll mind me sharing with one of my teenagers the other night. And he just kept saying, I, I'm, I do tongues and interpretation of tongues, but it's with the English language. Um, because a lot of times teenagers are saying things that needs interpretation. Parents are sometimes saying things that need interpretation. So this young person kept saying, oh, I just can't wait to get out of my house. Oh, I just can't wait. I said, you know what? You're not really saying you really, because this person is an awesome young man. Awesome. I said, what you're really saying is, I'm interpreting, that you can't wait to move out and become the man that God has created you to be. Stop letting the devil twist your words to make your parents think you're quitting what they've instilled in you all these years. And I tell the teenagers when I'm interpreting to them, when your parents are in the room hollering and fussing, like, boy, why are you still out there, girl? Then I call you, then I tell you to get in here, and you better stop doing it. What they're really saying is, I love you so doggone much, I don't want to see anything happen to you, and I don't want you to repeat the same mistakes that I made because I love you too much. And, and then, let me, let me wow. share this little thought. All the, all the mothers on their foot. Yes. All the mothers in the house but they say, know. Ow. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> wow. This is a thought. And then the young people, this is a thought. We got to keep moving. Yeah, we, we do. We really. Point of time to this. Yeah. When you tell your parents that you're grown in age, and you might be 18 or 19, well, my, my or interpretation of grown is grown to me. The bishop means I got my own place. I pay my own car insurance. I pay my own food. I pay my own light bill. I pay my own medical bills. When you say I'm grown, that means you have a house of your own, car of your own, no help of my parents that I need assistance to help me to, to make it on. Now, if you're living in your parents' house, you may not be grown. Jesus. Wow. You may have age on you, but not fully grown. Because grown people handle their business. That's my interpretation of grown. Grown, get your own place, get your own car, get your own insurance, get your, buy your own food, make your own living. Don't don't call me and ask me for no money, cause you grown. So 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 grown people handle their business. Grown people don't live off their parents. Grown people don't say, Mama, I need some shoes. Grown people don't say, Mama, I need thirty dollars to go to the mall. Grown people make their own money. Okay, young people might not be liking me right now. So before oh. you haul off and say, I'm grown, uh, yeah, make sure you understand. All yeah, right. My, okay. Okay, what do you call people that are in transition? Well, just, see, my people thing that is, are growing my thing up. if you're in transition, hold your role. Oh, I got you. Okay. If you're in transition at your mama house, you want to get out, just hold your role. Don't quit, mama, and don't quit you know daddy, I mean? Don't be going right? off and stuff because you don't want to, you know, it's like don't, don't want to cut the hands and feet. You don't want to, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, they say. Yeah, what's cut, that cliche, y'all? Come cut on, your help nose, us. Bite your face. Cut your nose. Yeah, don't, 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 don't cut. Yeah, don't, don't, don't hurt the people that's trying to help you. Don't, don't, don't hurt. Don't ever do that because you. your parents, it, your parents. See what you, what young people listen to this. Your parents got five things they want to do to you that they will do for you. They didn't tell you, but they watching you. Oh yeah. Wow, look at these mothers. They got mothers. stuff in the back wow. of their mind. Say, I'm gonna do it for them, but I ain't gonna say it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm a watcher. See, I was gonna do this, but I'm gonna watch them and see because they don't know I'm gonna do this. So that's why you always gotta be mindful towards their temperament, towards your 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 your, your, your uh, respect towards them. 
You might not want to hear. I didn't want to hear my mom and dad had to say any noise. So what I did at 17, I got, I went to the Marine Corps, signed up early, got out at my mom's house, and I didn't want, you know what I'm saying? It, it's natural. You wanted to be a man. House, and I had military because military fed me, clothed me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything but bathed me. Come on. You know what I mean? So I was good. And that's why I went to the military because I was like, you know what? I need something real quick that I can make some money, yes. travel, be on my own, and get a house, get a roof, lights. I knew military was going to provide all of that. Yes. Because, again, I'm saying I'm 17. You know, I graduated 16 like me and Martin Luther King, the only two people graduated age 16. <laughs> but, look, uh, I did. I graduated age 16. Praise the Lord. That's a miracle. And so, um, <laughs> but I had to, they had to sign me up for the Marine Corps age 7. They had to sign me up. You know, I couldn't go on my own. They had to Went sign me broke. up. In January, yeah. I was out the house. When I turned uh, 17 in December, mm -hmm. 17, uh, January, I was out of their house. And I never turned back. I never went back. You know, you know what I'm saying? And then the Man. time when it did went back, they was begging me, please come on. No, I'm, I'm, I'm grown. Mm -hmm. I'm really grown. I'm handling mm -hmm. my, I'm, I'm paying for my own stuff now. Come on. Amen. And, and so young people, be mindful when you say I'm grown in your parents' house. Yeah. Grown people handle their business. Yeah, don't quit your parents. Don't, yeah, don't, 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 don't do quit that. your and parents. Don't let, oh, I hear that. Don't let somebody you meet turn you against your parents. <laughs> Whether it's a meet. friend, uh, your school now. friends. Because uh, guess what? That mom and daddy, they're going to be there. When everybody else leaves you, oh, they're going to be right there. Oh, yes. So don't let no bad, don't let no relationship turn you against your parents or, no, don't you know, quit, somebody don't turn quit. you against your parents, you might want to check that out. But anyway, that's that. Amen. Amen. And then let, I'm going to throw this out. This is for another teaching, but down the road, you'll find out and we'll, we'll, we will teach you. This is one of the things we're going to teach in the teens church that we're going to show you how the Bible says that when your parents come of age like my mom and my dad who lives out in another state but it is now our responsibility to take care of them it's not even the responsibility of the church even though the bible says that the church are the church should take care of the widows and the orphans right. says it over and over again widows and orphans right. widows and orphans right. my mother is a widow so my, my point is we can't be quitting them now and they're pouring into us and then they get older now they need us and what we're doing now is learning from them what we need to pour back into them later. They need to see the fruit of what they put into us so that we can shine as the light of day when we go out into this world. They don't, we don't want to be there to control you and rule you because in a little while, I have all girls, so in a little while, I'm going to transfer that power to their husbands. And I'm looking I'm forward to I'm that not. day. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> no suck. I'm telling y'all, I can't tell y'all anyway. his secret anyway. You know how the mother should be acting at this no season. Power. He's kind of. How many of, got girls? Say what, what, brothers? Yo, we come on, y'all transfer <laughs> power? No. I mean, Listen. he got to prove himself. Dot com. Yeah, right. Well, of course, of course. That, yes, so yes. There'll be no power. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold the ultimate power just in case he gets fooled. <laughs> Okay, my, 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 bro, anyway. my, my, my daddy's know what I'm talking about out there. Daddies that got girls. How many? Come yeah. on, brothers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Wow. All right, okay. Oh, amen. Okay. All right, well, don't okay. quit. You want to see the gorilla come out and eat daddies? Okay. <laughs> you want to see a gorilla ministry? Okay. A gorilla ministry. Okay. How about gorilla warfare? Oh, boy. Okay, but anyway. Anyway, but don't quit your parents. Don't quit. If you got good parents, don't quit your parents. Don't quit them, okay? All right, now. Where we go from here, baby? We, I tell you, the Lord is just taking us all over. The, are y'all getting blessed from this this morning? Okay. How, how about my young people? Are y'all getting blessed by this this morning? Good. All right. I see they, you, they, my they girls. Point. They point. They say it's hurting, but it's mm -hmm. Yeah.